Hello garden lovers, I hope you're well. Welcome to my garden on this uh, beautiful sunny day. Um, it is about 24 degrees, which is actually very warm for us. Uh, uh, we've been uh, quite, uh, quite wet lately. Lots of rain and wind and uh, today is a, a very nice day indeed. Uh, I'm going to show you my oldest rose in my garden, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you my youngest. So these are my uh, cuttings I took uh, last year, and uh, these are the survivors. I have pulled out uh, all the dead ones, so we don't actually know what they are. This one, you can see, is actually in bud and actually growing very well. And I can tell you from looking at the buds, this one is called Rhapsody in Blue. But the other ones, um, I don't know. I just uh, take some of the, um, the prunings and I just uh, shoved it in some sandy soil and uh, what will be, will be. Uh, like what Forrest Gump says, uh, it's like a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're going to get. So these are my uh, one-year-old seedlings, cuttings. And I'll show you my uh, two-year cuttings, which is these ones here in the pots. Um, and they've got buds and growing very well. So here we are my cuttings and hopefully look forward to uh, lots more uh, different roses and here in the pot of its own is I think the uh, Alnwick rose this is a third year cutting gorgeous and this one also is a third year cutting in the ground is uh, Grace also a David Austin rose. Here is another third year cutting with quite a few buds on it already. This one is Poet's Wife, growing in my uh, yellow border. It's almost uh, like an adult plant already. After three years, you get a plant like this up to knee high. This is a, a third year poet's wife. So here we have the star of this video, the oldest rose I have in my garden. Uh, this is Madame Isaac Perrier. I didn't buy this rose. I inherited it from a house that I bought uh, in 2001. It's a modern house and I was the second owner. Uh, the house itself was built in about 1995. So I would imagine this uh, rose is uh, purchased shortly after that. So uh, it is uh, nearly 30 years old. Um, I dug this up with me when I moved house. It's been in this ground for nearly six years in this spot. And uh, when I first bought the house in my old house, I never really looked after it. It just merely existed. And uh, for years, it only just had one or two blooms because I didn't really look after it with a, a busy lifestyle and young children. Uh, I think in this spot, I have fed it and uh, it has uh, got quite good sunlight. So it's looking very happy now. Now this particular rose was bred in 1881 by a French labourer called Amand Gasson and it was named after um, a French financial figure at the time, Isaac Perrier. I would say it's probably equivalent to maybe the British uh, Alan Sugar or Warren Buffet of its time. Uh, Although I don't think this rose would be uh, uh, nicely named if it was called Mrs. Allen Sugar or 
Mrs. Warren Buffett. Uh, so this is Isaac Perrier. Uh, roses are known to live quite a long time. And uh, this is a fine example of uh, how far, how long it can live. And it just looks like it's going to keep going. And here we have, if this was Madame Isaac Perrier, Isaac Perrier, this would be a cutting of her. This would be Mademoiselle Isaac Perrier. So the generation goes on and would live for many years to come. Thanks for watching.